Hi, through this video we are going on with our investigation of optimal control for discrete time systems. In particular we are going to consider linear systems with a quadratic criterion, we are going to consider finite horizons, but we will consider the states at the end of the control horizon relaxed. Now the state equation looks as before, now after substitution for u from the stationarity equation. Now this is the co-state equation. I will also include the stationarity equation here for later use for computation of the optimal control. And then the boundary conditions. So first the initial condition for the state and then the final condition that the state and co-states are related in this linear fashion. Now the way we will uh, proceed is that we will assume that the same linear relationship between the state and co-state holds throughout the control horizon, not only at the end. This is called sweep assumption. And we now take it and substitute the, the first two equations to the state and co-state equation. If we substitute to the state equation, this is what we will get from which we can now compute x at k plus 1. Say k plus 1. And this is, this is the result. And now let's have a look at uh, what will happen if we substitute this sweep assumption into the co-state equation. So again, this is what we get. And then from the state equation we can substitute here for the x k at k plus 1. And this is what we get. Things are getting somewhat messy. And now since this uh, holds for any x, it, uh, it means that, uh, or as a consequence of this fact, we can write now this equation with the sequ with the s terms only. Now this is a very famous equation. It's called difference uh, Ricard equation. Note that we could have derived or reformat it into a few more terms uh, and you will find it in the lecture notes. Now this is the recurrence scheme which is initialized at the end of the control horizon. So we set uh, we initialize it with the value Sn and compute uh, S at the lower values and once we have it we can compute the control signal. It looks like a state feedback, however this one is still not causal, non-causal, so substituting for the xk plus 1 and massaging a little bit we can compute the, the control signal as a function of the state at the same time. That is a state feedback. This is truly a remarkable result because note that we have not make this have not made this assumption at the beginning. We did not say that we want to have state feedback and yet we have it. Now this messy expression here we will uh, label it as k uh, which evolves in time and it's called Kalman gain. Note that uh, what we did so far was that we just uh, analyzed the first order conditions. So it's not yet clear if the controls that we have found in this way is actually minimizing. But for the details I would direct you to the lecture notes and possibly some other literature. Instead, uh, let's have a look at an example. It will be a scalar one because honestly speaking uh, it's very often through these uh, scalar uh, examples that we get some intuitive insight into the problem. So this is the system and the cost function. Now the difference Ricard equation looks like this. And after simplifying it a little bit, this is what we get. So this is one way how to write a difference Ricard equation. Now if you implement this for some uh, concrete a, B, Q and R. This is how your relevant variables will evolve in time. So we'll start with, with S terms. These will be scalars. So we'll initialize them at the final time and this is how they could evolve. Typically what you would observe is that for most of the time, if the horizon is long enough, they will remain constant. And the same holds for the for the time varying 
state feedback gain. Now the state variable then evolves something like this, which does not hit, uh, ne does not necessarily hit zero. But if you want to bring your system closer to zero at the final time, there's always the s term, the s n term that you can increase to penalize the state at the final time more heavily and bring it closer to zero.